the, tell me how you got into wrestling. What was it that drew you into it? And growing up, were you a fan? Um, I had a unique journey into WWE. I didn't really watch uh, WWE too much growing up. I was a track and field athlete and a gymnast, and I was a collegiate hurdler. And afterwards, uh, I got into CrossFit. I uh, was wearing really elaborate outfits, tutus and sequins. And Mark Henry saw me and saw something in me and said, hey, I can get you a tryout. Can't get them to hire you. It took me two tryouts, and I started in WWE in 2016. What did that tryout consist of for people that don't know what it takes to, to get into WWE? Um, so my first tryout was actually in front of a live audience, um, which is not your typical tryout, but I thrived off of being in front of the audience. And my second tryout was your more um, traditional tryout. It's three days. Uh, it's lots of drills. Um, they, they they push you to the limit. Uh, you have to get in front of everyone and, and cut a promo. You just have to stand out, be very unique, and be a hard worker. So it's tough, but I made it to the tryout and got hired. And obviously wrestlers all have different personas. It's your persona a typical to what you actually are or is it totally out of character? I would say my persona is just me elevated to a higher power. I call myself the EST of WWE. I've been an athlete my whole life. Uh, you know, I'm the strongest, the fastest, the roughest, the toughest, the quickest, the greatest, the best. Uh, I'm that in real life. I'm that in the ring. That's who I am. I just amp it up a notch. And how much training does it take on a weekly basis to be able to do everything you do? It's very hard being a WWE superstar. It's something that you don't really realize the magnitude of what, what we do until you just put yourself in that position. I'm training every single day inside the gym, inside the ring. Uh, I'm making so my own gear as well. So um, I'm just working nonstop. We don't have an off season. Uh, so we're performing high risk moves uh, on live TV. So it, it takes a lot to be a WWE superstar, but it's very rewarding. And what's been your favorite part of the journey so far? Ooh, I would say my favorite part of the journey is just being a part of amazing moments and making history and connecting with fans, um, really connecting with the younger audience as well. Like I, when I come out, I see little ESTs, little, little bitty girls dressed like me with the braid and the sequins. And so just knowing that I get to touch people in a positive way. Doesn't that braid give your opponent a little advantage though? <laughs> it, well, listen, this can be an advantage or it could be a disadvantage. It's girls that try to touch my hair. So my number one rule is do not touch my hair. And if I they, have that same rule. There, there you go. But, you know, if they, um, if they touch it, then they have to get the hair whipped. So that's when it plays to my advantage.